Greetings, ladies and gents. So myself and Cuddles talked about 9.2, and now we wish to share with you what we thought of it. We looked at each other, and we each said, "Okay." Yeah, and pretty much that is our review of 9.2. Okay. Now, have you ever had that moment when? You're in the middle of something, and then it hits you. <sighs> I want to kind of do something else instead, or I want to try that other thing. It happens to me a lot when I'm playing Total War, is a good example. I'm like, oh, let's start this Dark Elf campaign. That's going to be a load of fun. I love doing this. And then about halfway through, I'll be like, oh, do you know what? I really fancy playing the Bretonians. No, 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 wait. <gasps> Tomb Kings. And so it goes on. 9.2 kind of feels like Blizzard's version of that. The WoW team want to move on. They want to try something new, a fresh, clean slate. But it's too late for poor old 9.2. So they kind of have to give us something. But let's, let's hold our horses here. Let's rewind this. Because I don't think the conversation is really about 9.2. I think the conversation is about 9.15 and then 9.0. We have a dev team slowly waking up to the fact that just because you did it in the past doesn't always mean that that's the way it has to be going forward. There was a very telling interview with Ian, and I'll put the, a link to the full interview down in the description, but when asked about feedback from the community and their own dev team and what the future of WoW could be, Ian replied, A lot of these things, like I mentioned regarding Conduit Energy, are outgrowths of lessons that were taught to us by our predecessors, by the founders and the leaders of the team, about the importance of meaningful choice, the importance of preserving character investment. That may have led to us not being friendly to alt gameplay and people's ability to get caught up on their alts. The reality is, the way people will play, the game has evolved. Now, granted, there's two ways to take that. You could be sat there, either thinking... What is he doing? He's beginning to believe. Or... Oh. Bullshit. Bullshit. And the truth is, we really won't know until 10.0 comes out. We get some idea of what their plans are. It could literally be either. It's like Schrodinger's cat. Until we lift the lid off, we just don't know. And 915 was a great minor patch. It added a lot of quality of life changes that were desperately needed and new customization options they said they would not do. More options to alts to actually be viable and fun. A relaxing of the AoE cap. All things that people have been asking for. But the truth is, that while in the middle of development, what really can be changed regarding 9.2? A major patch. It was always going to be the, the checklist, the bingo card. New zone. Yep check that box new raid yeah we can check that box some sort of new faction being added that we're gonna make friends lives conveniently and then they're gonna say oh if you get more rep of us we'll do stuff for you oh yay some change of mechanics and that kind of thing they have tried to just ease back on borrowed power and so on but there's still gonna be some creep of that going in it's all the same beats in general that we've seen for the last god knows how many years of World of Warcraft. So I understand people may have had this little hope after 915 and now they feel frustrated or even a little let down when they've seen 9.2. They had all this hope, all this promise of a new direction, of a new way of doing things that we'd seen with 915 and then we have all these interviews and then 92 just kind of feels a little flat. Feels like something from a different era now almost of WoW. And I will say, I'm kind of okay with that because I understand that, as I said before, you can't really change 9.2. It's already in the works. And my hope is, and this is a hope, this is completely rose-tinted glasses, this is fan mode, and I get that. I'm kind of hoping that if this new zone is so paint-by-numbers, it's half, what, Voldoon? And the other half looks like Nagand? You know, they said in the, in, the, in, the, in the developers thing, there's even floating trees and rocks. That's crazy. 
uh, devs, you may want to visit Outland, you know, a little more often. There's loads of floating trees and rocks. It's not a big thing. Now, granted, there's some interesting ideas going into 9.2. This idea of the language unlock. Okay, I mean, but that's new at least for WoW because I've heard people saying, hey, that's in other games, <clears throat> Final Fantasy. But to be fair, if Hollywood has taught us anything, it's that there really are no new ideas. Oh, snap! At least Blizzard are copying something that sounds interesting. But as I say, if they're doing a paint by numbers 9.2, I'm hoping that means that the majority of the development team, a development team they are growing, by the way, are going absolutely ham on 10.0 then fine if you can do that then give me the paint by numbers give me generic wow 9.2 jesus uh, we've survived the lag of Vale and oldham and the madness of corruption we can survive this but the well of good faith is like bone dry 915 was a step forward and we salute blizzard for that but 10.0 is this team's chance to show us what their vision is for WoW. No more constraints, no more saying, oh well, the the confines of the past, the restrictions that were put on us by the original leaders, you know, that blinded us. No, 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 that's gone. Those shackles have gone. Those things that are supposed to be restricting you are gone. Now is time to let loose. We are literally going into a fight with the Jailer where if we lose, reality itself can be shaped and changed. Why not have us lose? Why not have that Thanos moment where you click the fingers and Azeroth is changed. Our friends back home are changed. They repeated at the start of the development review or preview of 9.2 and at the very end that this was a closing of the first book, the first chapter for World of Warcraft. They're going to put that on the shelf. 9.0 is the start of a whole new book. Their book about the binds of the previous leaders with a vision all of their own big words you know no pressure guys but we just want as players something that feels like the game we have loved for 17 years now and we want something new and different on a scale never seen before hmm yeah good luck with that one. Oh, and if i could just add can we get player housing if we can't get player housing can we get guild housing that would be awesome I hope, I hope they do embrace this freedom. They don't see it as a pressure, as a burden. And sure, when this Blizzard team come out with 10.0 and what they want WoW to be going forward, some people will walk away. That's just the nature of things because it's no longer for them. But new people will join. They'll see WoW for the very first time. But I'll say this to the Blizzard team. You can't keep producing content that you you love and that you're proud of if you don't believe in the core product you're trying to sell us so go for it in 10.0 give it everything you have produce something that this wow team can truly be proud of and then sit back and let us see if we want to buy it because i'll tell you what if you give everything you put everything into 10.0 then we will buy it but if we get another generic run of the mill look it's Legion, but reskinned again. We picked what you liked out of the carcass, and look, it's Legion as best we can. Then we're going to walk away very uninterested because there are new things on the horizon. But as I said at the beginning, I have hope, but we shall see. I think that's enough for me. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Laters, everyone.